hello welcome all to, to this video again in this video i will be explaining that how you can connect your lcd that is 16 cross 2 lcd to your arduino board and uh, uh, there will be two part of this video one part i will simulate this through this uh, online software that is ok.com and uh, next part i will explain how you can connect the lcd so this is my lcd uh, this lcd i am going to use to connect this uh, okay so first i will uh, just explain that how you can do it from your uh, online and then we'll explaining that how you can do in offline as well so let me just switch up the camera for now and uh, we'll continue so here you can see you can just go to this website and here arduino you know is there so that is the board i am going to use for the hardware also so let's open the arduino you know board and once i open the arduino you know board you can see uh, as i have explained in previous uh, videos also you can see refer to that how to use this so here uh, Arduino board is there. I'll just uh, make it large screen so that you can visualize it better. So this you can see this is my Arduino board here that is available to simulate. And as I'm going to use the LCD uh, 16 cross 2 display, so I'll add one LCD 16 cross 2 display. So this LCD is now on the screen. So I'll keep it uh, here nearby near so that you can visualize it properly so i'll this much of zoom i can do okay now you can see this is the lcd and uh, physically whatever pin is available here also all the pins are available and to know what are the pins and what is why where to connect those pins so you can just go to this um, question mark symbol is there just click on this and uh, it will open one site for you so basically you can just scroll down and see standard configuration so here all the things are given so bss is a ground so it has to be connected to ground pin bdd is the supply voltage so all these things are there so b0 contrast adjustment not simulated means uh, uh, while connecting through online it is not required but while connecting to hardware then we'll be connecting this one to the ground okay and uh, then all the pins are there so d0 d1 d2 d3 are optional pins uh, for data pins you can connect or else you can use the d4 d5 d6 d7 basically it is it takes 8 bit as input next uh, backlight anode and uh, backlight cathode so these are used to uh, control the backlight means if you don't connect this then the lcd will not uh, come up okay so these are the pins you can just refer here and uh, now let us uh, go to make the connections so to make the connections i will place it like this so that uh, it will be easy to visualize and easy to connect so let me just place it here okay so the first point is that where to connect and what to connect so first of all i have to connect this first one is vss okay vss has to be connected to ground so i will place one click and uh, here there is ground pin i can connect it here to make it i'll click here and make the weather okay vss to ground next is your vdd so vdd has to be connected to the supply voltage so i will connect it here you can change the color also here just select here and play, press zero then the color changes to this one okay next next to that is your v0 pin as uh, here it is not simulated i am not going to connect it but b0 pin has to be connected to your um, ground so uh, while connecting the hardware i'll tell that so this rs pin rs pin will i will connect that to your pin number 12 rs pin is connected to pin number 12 and the change this wire color to this one and uh, enable pin is connected to 11 so enable pin will be connected to 11 number pin okay i'll change this color to something else so, okay enable pin then the read write pin is connected to ground so one more ground is available here so i'll connect this to ground and i'll change the color to let's say three something else okay then here d0 d1 d2 d3 is there which i'm not going to connect and i'm going to connect the d4 d5 d6 d7 as pin number 5432 but you can take at, at your convenience whatever uh, you want so let's 
so i will connect it to pin number 5 and make this change the color a bit then d5 pin number 4 i will change this color then uh, your d6 d6 i'll change the color again then d7 to pin number 2 and i'll change the color again to the white okay so now this necessary connections have been done so this a and k wire i have to connect so a and k basically connected to your uh, cathode contrast and the backlight so a is connected to anode so plus 5 volt so here plus 5 volt is there and k is connected to ground so one more ground is here i will connect it here ok so b0 also i can connect to ground so i will connect it here to ground so b0 and k0 is connected to ground so this is about the connection here now we will go to the programming part so to write the program so we need to um, import one library so that library I will write here so the library is not the library the header file so good thing about this website is uh, it uh, automatically take uh, the library files so liquidcrystal.h you have to take so this is the library I need and then I have to define the constant pins that I am taking so I will write constant see integer type and I will take RS so see whatever connection I have done I am just writing it here RS I have connected to 12 so we have to mention that which pin is connected to which number so that the program can know that enable to 11 then D4 I have connected to 5 D5 I have uh, connected to 4 sorry d5 i have connected to 4 d6 to 3 d6 to 3 and your d7 d7 i have connected to 2 okay so that's it uh, the setup we need to do i'll just make it make it little bit bigger here cannot make the size larger so just I hope it's visible okay. so next what I have to do we have to define the liquid crystal wire what is connected so liquid crystal so make sure you write this as it is I am writing so liquid crystal LCD and in bracket I have to pass all the variables that I have defined there so what are the variables R S so this is the liquid crystal function that takes the variable in uh, by default so we have to mention this or I can R S you can write 12 comma 11 comma 5 comma 4 like this also you can write D4 comma D5 comma D6 comma D7 okay now I have uh, told uh, I have defined defined that what is the pins used here and then we will go to the void setup so we need to set up here so in void setup I will write uh, lcd dot begin so lcd dot begin so lcd dot begin which type of lcd I need to mention here 16 comma 2 that is 16 cross lcd I am going to use ok So next I will print uh, uh, before going to the main loop so I will print some welcome message here so for that I will print lcd dot print so whatever you want to print a message that should be a string so I will write welcome and uh, then I will give some delay let's say delay of 1 second so 1000 millisecond after a delay again I will print 
so this is user defined i am doing so to look it better you can use anything you can write anything else also and then i'll write welcome m class so uh, i am writing for both time because just you need to know that how does this work so i have to write it in code welcome to m class close the bracket semicolon semicolon is a very important here i'll give one more delay of 1000 one millisecond what that is one second so why this delay i'm giving unless you give the delay then this message you cannot see what what is being printed there so it's very important that you give a delay here now what to print in the uh, lcd display so for that i'm not connecting any sensor here so for that uh, what i'm going to do i'm just going to print one random number here so i'll write int x equals to a random number and i will choose a random number between 100 so it is written like that then where to print the value so there are you can see in the lcd display there are two lines so it is that's why it is 16 cross 2 in each line you can print 16 characters so 16 cross 2 is there so for that i need to set where to print what so first i'll write lcd dot set cursor so this is the inbuilt function so that will set the cursor for me in a particular position so basically it is a matrix format if i write 0 0 means the printing will start from this first block okay so that's why lcd crosser 0 comma 0 next at this position i want to write something so i'll write lcd dot print so what message i am going to print so as i am generating the random number i'll write generated number okay sometimes whatever you write uh, is uh, not coming up to the 16 character then there is a function that you can scroll that also so that uh, i'll cover in some other video then i'll write lcd dot set cursor so what i need to do here see here i want to print the random value that is generated here at the second line so i have to set the cursor where so i'll write 0 comma 1 so that means now it is in the second line first uh, first block okay so here i'll print this so what to print here so lcd dot print i'll just print the x variable here okay so that's it now how fast i want to print so i'll give a delay of one second here so at every interval of one second it will print the value for me okay so that's a simple program you can write now let us see i uh, will run this program whether it's working or not so somewhere i missed one semicolon here i'll give the semicolon here okay okay so there is a problem here so what you need to do so here you need we need to clear the lcd also because the previous number that is there so i'll let lcd dot the previous display that is there you have to clear that so that is the function for that lcd dot clear and in void loop also i have to clear lcd dot clear not in void loop it is not required so i can just clear it here so before it goes to the void loop it will clear the whatever display is there okay so now we will run this again i missed semicolon oh no yeah spelling mistake so here uh, now you can see i will just uh, so this welcome to m class is actually not coming under uh, 16 character so it's not properly visible so let's run this again let's see what happens so welcome and welcome to m class and then the generator number is 49 okay that that's how it works so as simple as that now let us try to do some changes here so what changes so let's say that i don't want to print it here i want to print it somewhere middle 
so i can write here 7 comma 1 okay so this is the second row this will take as the second row and the seventh position so again if i run this now you can see it is printing at the center okay so this is how you can uh, just use the lcd display in your arduino board and uh, in the next part next part of this video uh, i'll explain that how you can connect it to hardware and how does it work there so do check the second video i'll be uploading uh, after this video so thank you have a good day